I'm Aaron Rutten, and today let's take a look at how to make it quick and easy to select brushes in Corel Painter. One of the most effective things you can do to streamline your digital art workflow is to add your frequently used brushes to a custom palette. With a single click, you can quickly select brushes that may be buried in different categories. And you can even customize the palettes to make them your own. Let's take a look at how to do this. You can simultaneously create a new custom palette and add a brush to it by holding shift and dragging on a brush icon in the brush selector, then releasing. You can continue adding brushes to this palette or create additional palettes of brushes. Now, rather than clicking several times to navigate between brush categories, I can select brushes with a single click. It may be difficult to tell which brush you're using when the default stroke preview is shown. You can change that to text by right-clicking on it, or you can even set a custom icon. Here's an example of the workspace I use. I have created custom icons for all of my brushes by painting a stroke and adding a text layer with an abbreviated label. You can also name these panels to differentiate and categorize the brushes within. You can do that from the window menu, Custom Palette Organizer. You can collapse the panel. And if you like, you can group multiple panels into palette drawers and collapse them all at once. If you accidentally close the panel, it can be opened from the window menu, Custom Palette. You can delete a palette by shift dragging all of the brushes out of it, or you can go to Window, Custom Palette, Organizer, and delete it there. In this menu, you can also export your custom palettes as box files. This will save the brushes as well as any customization like the icons and ordering. When you import a box file, a new brush category is created with those brushes linked to the custom palette. This is an easy way to back up and share your brushes. Box files are compatible with Painter 2016 and later, and box files created in older versions of Painter may work in newer versions of Painter, but not the other way around if new content is present. In addition to using custom palettes for brushes, you can also add media like papers, patterns, flow maps, and just about any command in Painter. You can add commands from Custom Palette Add Command, then select the target palette, and then a command from anywhere in the Painter UI. Now I can switch to my brush using this button. There you go, that was a look at how to make your own custom palettes. Thanks for watching.